2017 Land Rover Discovery First Drive, highlights from the Highlands. Off-roading in Scotland and brief on-roading abroad HMS Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier. It started in the Scottish Highlands on the rugged terrain of the Blair Apollo State, where the 2017 Land Rover Discovery was sent out on a track of mundruts, of rocks and water. The day ended at the Rosif Dockyard to board the HMS Queen Elizabeth, the largest and most complex aircraft carrier of the British fleet, where a small group of North American journalists were the first international civilians allowed aboard. That Discovery 7 passenger SUVs we drove are almost ready for production, Land Rover has built about 150 right-hand drive prototypes at this point. In February the automaker will start assembly of saleable models for its domestic market at its Soli Hull, UK, plant. By March, US spec models go into production for sale in late May or early June. Pricing starts at $50,985 for a base SE with the V6 gas engine. More than 10,000 advance orders have been placed globally. Land Rover's investment in the Discovery is much more modest but equally impressive. Parent Audi has invested about $600 million in the Soli Hall plant and added about 300 workers to make the family SUV alongside the Range Rover and Range Rover Sport. All three are unibody or monocoque construction as opposed to the outgoing LR4, which was body on frame. The Discovery is only 85% aluminum because it has a steel subframe.